Okay, so again, our topic for this morning is all about division of polynomials. And for division of polynomials, we actually have two ways of dividing a polynomials. And that is, first is we have this what we call long division, and the second one is the synthetic division. So for division of polynomials, may look difficult, but it follows the same rules we have already learned for properties of real numbers as well as for division of real numbers. So how do we divide a polynomial by a monomial? So when we say monomial, that involves only one term. And when we say polynomial, that involves many terms. It's more than two or like tila ka mga terms are involved. So when we say divide Divide a polynomial by a monomial, so we have here, you know, an example. So to divide a polynomial by a monomial, each term is divided by that monomial. So 40x squared minus 15x plus 5, this one here is an example of a polynomial. And 5 is an example of a monomial because we only have one term. So this is polynomial, he divide na to si job by a monomial, which is 5. So, we will first write the problem in fraction format. So, we know that when we add or subtract fractions with a common denominator, we merely add or subtract the numerators and the denominator remains the same. So, we can write the problem with each term over the common denominator. So, we have here 40x squared minus 15x plus 5 over 5. So, if they have the same denominator, so each term pwede na nato i buwagon. So, 40x squared over 5 minus 15x over 5 plus 5 over 5. So, then we simply each term, simplify each term to get the final result. So, how do we simplify? So, first, you just have to simply 40 divided by 5, that is 8. And then you copy x squared minus 15 divided by 5 is 3 and then you copy x and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So our answer here is 8x squared minus 3x plus 1. That is how we divide a polynomial. So to check, we will have just to use this, this, this distributive property to multiply. So your and again, your um, um, 40x squared minus 15x plus 5 is you call that dividend. And 5 is you um, called as divisor. And the answer, this one, 8x squared minus 3x plus 1, is what we call the quotient. So the answer for division is what we call quotient. So in order for us to get um, or to check, no ato ora is simply multiply 5 times the answer. So dapat ang ato answer should be 40x squared minus 15x plus 5. So 5 times 8. 8x squared minus 3x plus 1. So, distribute lang siya. 5 times 8x squared, the answer is 40x squared. 5 times negative 3x, the answer is negative 15x. And 5 times 1, the answer is 5. So, we did get the correct answer, 40x squared minus 15x plus 5. So, that means that our answer here is correct. So, the answer for this polynomial function, or yes, is 8x squared minus 3x plus 1. So we have here again another polynomial or we dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So again our polynomial polynomial here is 12x cubed plus 24x squared minus 8x. Divide by a monomial, right? There is only one term which is 4x. The only difference from our previous example is that sa previous nato constant rasicha, but in our second example now is we already have a variable. So na kay 4x, so 4 is our numerical coefficient and x is our literal coefficient. So 4x still um isaka term and we call ang isaka term is we call that a monomial. So that is why we have here a polynomial divided by a monomial. So we will first write the problem in fraction format. So how do we write that in fraction? So nga nira 12 x cubed plus 24 x squared minus 8 x over 4 x. After that, again, we can rewrite the problem with each term over the common denominator. So we have here, since they have a common denominator which is 4 x, so ato si Jackie, um, separate. So you have 12 x cubed over 4 x plus 24 x squared over 4 x. This is one term. This is the second term and then the third term. And then minus 8 x over 4 x. So how do we divide this? Simply, we'll start with the numerical coefficient. So 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. Now if we have the same variable x and x here, 
you will just have to copy x. And then, pag division si Ja, ang ato i mo on, i minus ang mga exponent. So, again, since they have the same variable, you copy the variable. So, our variable there is x. So, you copy x. And then, 3 is our exponent in the um, numerator and 1 is our exponent in the denominator. So, all we have to do is to subtract. So, 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. So, that is why you get 3x squared. Now, for the second term, you will go again first with the um, numerical coefficient. So, you have 24 divided by 4. The answer is 6. And then, x squared over x, since they have the same variable, but different exponent, so you copy the variable, and then you minus ang exponent, 2 minus 1, you have 1 there. So, that is why you only have 6x. Minus 8x over 4x, simply 8 divided by 4, that's 2, or negative 2, and then x divided by x is 1. So, that is why you only have negative 2 there. And the, in our answer for this um. Uh, for this problem is 3x squared plus 6x minus 2. So to check, we will have to use distributive property to multiply. So our answer times the divisor. Dapat ang mugawas is ang dividend. So we have 4x times 3x squared plus 6x x minus 2. So using distributive property, we multiply 4x times 3x squared. That is 24x cubed. So, let me just remind everyone na kung may nung tag-multiplication, i-add na ito ang ija exponent. But division, i-minus ang exponent. So, 4 times 3, that's 12. X times X squared, that's X to the power of 3. So, we add 1 plus 2 sa ija exponent. So, that is why we get 12X cubed. Now, 4X times 6X, we have there uh, 4 times 6, that's 24. And then X times X, that's X squared. And 4x times negative 2, that is negative 8x. So, we have there, um, our answer is correct because we get the dividend by multiplying the divisor and the answer. So, next, um, divide a polynomial by a polynomial. So, if we are dividing a polynomial by another polynomial, it does not help us to rewrite each term over that divisor. So, for example, to rewrite 2x squared plus x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 as this is like this, ato gihi mo siya or gi-rewrite na to siya into fraction form, it only makes the problem more complicated. So, as an alternative, we can use long division in the same way it is used for... Lagi na yung signal. Mabati ko. Hello? Ah, okay. Mabati ka po. May ingon na mo o mawala ko ha. So, as an alternative, we can use long division in the same way it is used for um, division of real numbers. So, we write the problem using the division symbol. So, we have here... Again, katunggi mo na to gaina are only possible if we divide a polynomial by a monomial. But if we divide a polynomial by another polynomial, so x minus 1 is nanatay duha ka term, binomial or still an example of a polynomial, so dili na pwede itong atunggihin mo ka gaina, nag rewrite na to in the fraction form. But it is more easy kung ato si Jahi mo on sa ingani, ako maagi. So, x minus 1 is our divisor and 2x squared plus x minus 3 is our dividend and the answer for this is our function. So, how do we get our answer here? So, first is, the first step in dividing is to look at the first term of the divisor. Ang may itong divisor kini. So, first term na to kay si x. No? Si x ang ato first term sa ito divisor. And determine how many times it divides into the first term of the dividend. So, kapila man na ito i-multiply si x para mo equal si Jaog 2x squared. So, si ito i-multiply sa x para mo equal si Jaog 2x squared. Mag-focus ra ka sa first term sa ito divisor which is x. So, what would we multiply by x to get 2x squared? So, the result is 
two x is written over the x term in the dividend. So we have there two x times x is that is two x squared. So two x times x that is two x squared, and then two x times negative one that is negative two x. So, kining si 2x squared o si 2x squared ma-eliminate na. Ay 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0 man. So, on sa'y sunod. Now, we multiply the partial quotient 2x by the divisor. X minus 1 and place the result below the dividend lining of the term. So, how did we get 2x minus 2x? We multiply na to si 2x sa x minus 1. So, 2x times x, that's 2x squared. 2x times negative 1, that's 2x. After that, we subtract that result from the corresponding terms in the dividend and bring down the next term. So note that we are subtracting negative 2x, which is the same as adding a positive 2x. So ato siyang gi minus, so 2x minus 2x is 0. So since minus mani na ito siya diri, di ba? Sa itong ato, mihimo pag minus, ma-change ang sign. Sakto? So, Anong nahimok man ni siyang 3x here? Because uh, x minus negative 2x, kay, i-change na to ang plus, and then this one becomes negative. So that is why we have x plus 2x is 3x. So na kay 3x, and then you bring down negative 3. So not, focus gihapon ta sa ato first term sa divisor. So unsa may ato i-multiply sa x, na mo equal si job 3x. Again, on set, we multiply sa x na may equal sa job 3x. That is 3. Anong 3 man? Kay 3 times x kay 3x. So, since na naman tayo 3 times x, 3x. So, 3 my, times negative 1, that is negative 3. So, na naman tayo 3x minus negative 3. Um, so, multiply the 3, mao niya to 3x minus 3 gaina, and then mao, this ani na to dyan nakuha gikan sa diri, no, katong gi-add, o gi-minus na to si x minus negative 2x, that's 3x, bring down negative 3, and then, um, sa may ma-divide sa, um, ma-multiply sa x, na mo-equal og 3x, so or, that is 3. So, 3 times x, that is 3x, and then 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. So, again, no, I-minus na to sila. So, 3x minus 3x, that's 0. Negative 3 minus negative 3, that is 0. So, again, our answer is 2x plus 3. So, in checking the answer, we will have to use the fall method to multiply. So, how did we use the fall method? Simply, first, outer, inner, and last. So, x times, x minus 1 times 2x plus 3. So, again, x times 2x, una kay ang first, ang first na to by si x or 2x. So, you multiply x times 2x, that's 2x squared. And then, ang outer, negative 2 times 3 is 3x. Oh, no. X times 3, these are all the outer, that's 3x. Inner, kay negative 1 times 2x, that is negative 2x. And the last is negative 1 times 3, that's negative 3. So, you have here the answer 2x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 3. And then, since 2x minus, uh, 3x minus 2x are um, the same term, or we will have to combine them. That is why 2x squared, 3x minus 2x is x minus 3. And this is now our answer. Um, our answer is correct because you multiply na to ang answer ang divisor dapat ang mugawas is ang dividend okay another way so we also have division of polynomials so another example is 16 z cubed plus 7 minus 4 z squared divided by 2 z minus 1 so before we can start the division process we need to rearrange the terms in the dividend na nung i-rearrange man nato you don't have to forget na dapat ang ato mga power should be in descending order of power. So also note that we have si z cube and z to the power of two terms but no z term. So unsa pa to 3 ang exponent 3 2 ang sa sunod sa 2 dapat na atay 
um, term nga, ang exponent is 1. So, sa ato nakita, kay wala tayo nakita na 1 ang term, or 1 ang exponent sa ija, um, 1 ang exponent sa ija variable. So, mo nang mag-place taog a z term in our dividend with a coefficient of 0 to use as a placeholder. So, natay, 16z cubed minus 4z squared. So, before anak, kay na atay dapat magka-descending ang atukan. So, wala man na tay ang um, term diri nga uh, ang exponent is 1. So, muna ang ibutang ka nito, 0z plus 7. Divide na to si Jaya sa 2z minus 1. So, again, first again is to rearrange the terms in the dividend. No? And then, nakita na to na mo focus ta sa ato first term sa divisor, which is 2z. Now, again, o say, multiply na to sa 2z na mahimo siyang 16z cubed. So, that is 8, kay 8 times 2, 16. So, unsa say, ito yung multiply sa z na mo equals sa z cubed. That is z squared. Kay z squared times z, that is z cubed. And then, after that, i-multiply po din na to si just sa negative 1. So, 8z squared times negative 1, that is negative 8z squared. So, after that, i-minus na to siya. Mahimo na ning 0. 16z cubed minus 16z cubed is 0. And the negative 4z squared minus negative 8z squared. So, again, so pagaling to pag um, subtraction, that is, change ang uh, minus sign o ang sign sa 8z. So, plus, plus, and then, uh, perform the operation. So, the answer is, 4z squared plus bring down si oz. Pagka bring down ni oz, yung muna sad si ja, balik na sad ka focus sa first term sa divisor. So, na kay 2z, kung si ato i-multiply sa 2z na mahimong 4z, that is 2z. Kay 2 times 2, 4, z times z, that's z squared. And then, 2z times negative 1, that is um, negative 2z. So, natay 4z squared, i-minus na to sa kini. So, 4z squared minus 4z squared, that's 0. 0z zero squared minus negative 2z, the answer is 2z. Why nga nung na-positive man siya, ma'am? Why? So, all we have to do is to add the uh, minus into plus and then the sign, which is negative na yung positive. So, that is how we get to z here. And then after that, no, naman tay 2z, ang ato answer, so you bring down 7. So, nana tay 2z plus 7, so again, 2z, kung siya ito i-multiply sa 2z, na mo equals yung 2z, that's 1. Okay, 1 times 2z, that's 2z. 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. So, minus 2z minus 2z is 0. 7 minus the negative of 1 is 3. So, kining si 8, mauna ni, kaya wala naman tayo ka bring down diri, kaya tama na naman tayo ni 7. Si 8 is what we call our remainder sa kini na polynomial. Yeah. So, we have here 8z squared plus 2z plus 1 plus ang ato remainder si 8 o vera ni mo og ang ato divisor which is 2z minus 1. Gets? Okay, so to check the answer again, um, ato ra siyang i-multiply. Or, we can use the full method because our second factor has more than two terms. So, we need to multiply each term in the second factor by 2z minus 1. So, 8z squared times 2z minus 1 plus 8z times 2z minus 1 plus 1 times 2z minus 1 plus 8 over 2z minus 1 times 2z minus 1. So, kada term, di multiply yan ato ang 2z minus 1. So, when we multiply this 2, no, 8z squared times 2z minus 1, the answer is 16z cubed and 8z squared times negative 1, that is 8z squared. 2z times 2z, that's 4z squared. 2z times negative 1, that's negative 2z. And then 1 times 2z, that's 2z. 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. And since this is multiplication, so makancel ni 2z minus 1 o kaning sa denominator 2z minus 1. And then ang mabiling kay si A. So combining like terms, again, makombine na nato ang duha ka term kung dapat same si Janang. 
variables and exponent. So, 16z cubed, 8z, negative 8z squared plus 4z squared. Kini, pwede nila ito sila makombine kay same variable or same exponent. So, ang ato is, the answer is negative 4z squared. And then, negative 2z plus 2z, the answer is 0. Negative 1 plus 8, the answer is positive 7. So, ning match man ang ato results sa original dividend, which is this one, 16z cubed minus 4z squared plus 7. So, um, the answer is correct. Okay.